Hello and good morning. Uh, welcome to today's Tarot Outlook reading. Now, today I'm going to draw the overall energy card, which is the Four of Air. Now, the Four of Air is telling us that we need to form a structure around our daily lives. It is that organization, that cleansing aspect of being able to clean. And I think this card is a perfect, um, comes up perfect timing, time-wise. Um, for the past few days, um, my family has been cleaning inside, outside, um, restructuring um, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, um, and also starting another business with building um, different types of things out of reclaimed wood. So there is this shift today. And for the next few weeks, I have a feeling that this shift is going to um, really unfold, especially career wise uh, and around family, not so much restructuring of, you know, everything that you do, but putting down the electronics, you know, unplugging, um, making sure that we have the time to spend with each other that we really need to, that connection time that we've all been kind of setting aside for the past year or so because of uh, COVID and really refocusing our energies on what we can do to improve our situations uh, in, as a whole for the long run and not just for right now. So today's energy uh, seems to be around that restructuring and making that plan and really learning to disconnect from things that are not serving our best interest in the long run. For example, um, my boys like to spend a lot of time on the computer uh, playing video games like most kids do their age. So we have to learn to get them to unplug for um, a certain amount of time during the day and spend that time in a more useful uh, manner. Uh, so going outside, getting fresh air, getting exercise, uh, fixing things that need to be fixed, uh, spending time with family, catching up with friends, what have you. So really restructure is the, the theme for today. So let's turn this back over and I'll draw the regular spread. Once I get these out of my way. Okay, this first card out here is the High Priestess, and this is really suggesting to listen to your intuition. Now, you know, in, you know, basically instinctually what you need to do on a daily basis to make sure that you and your family have everything you need. Uh, you, you understand um, the basics of a budget and, and, and and what it is that your family is going to need in the near future. Uh, so when it comes to that overall energy and connecting that to the high priestess, it's really using you know common sense and your instincts in listening to that guidance, um, allowing that guidance to come in from the divine and help you if you have any issues. You know, you know what it is that you need to get done in the next few weeks in order to improve any kind of situation that you need to improve. So really use that guidance and allow it just to flow through you today. And then we have the um, chariot over here, which is saying that you are finding that balance. You're finding that balance between, you know, the head and the heart, the family and work. You're finding that balance between fun and um, um, fun and work and, 
getting things done and it will lead to some successes today. You know, you see um, progress today in whatever you're doing, especially if you're, you know, cleaning out, clearing out your space, um, but making sure everything is in its place. So when you need it, you can find it, things like that. And then we have the queen of chalices over here, which is saying there may be some disagreements today. Um, a lot of this has to do with just basically one person's opinion over another and what should be done and when. It's not really going to be too serious. So um, try not to really dwell on any kind of a disagreement or allow things to escalate. Um, because you both care or you all care about each other. You know, if this has to do with family work, it doesn't matter. You all care about each other. You like each other. Um, so there is going to be that support in the end. Uh, so really, you know, whatever plan is decided upon, it will end up being the best for everybody, even if not everybody is happy with um, the specific structure. It will accomplish the goal in a timely manner. Now we have the next card out is the Empress re reversed. And this is just basically stating that maybe there is a little bit of a blockage when it comes to um, learning that new strategy or new system or that new way of doing things, uh, especially, you know, there, there would be prob will be problems with, you know, getting the kids off the computer, um, cutting off that, uh, time online, cutting down, cutting back. So there may be a little bit of resistance in that. Um, so it's just learning to, um, for everybody learning that, that new balance and that new uh, strategy throughout the day, that, that new um, habit of getting things done that we need to get done first before we spend time playing games. And then we have the eight of chalices reversed, which is saying that there is no um, and needing to decide about the people in your life. Um, the people that are in your life are going to stay in your life. Um, like I said before, y'all care about each other. So it's not anything that is going to cause any kind of a heartache. There's, there's no um, major issues with the people in your life. Everybody that is there is, you know, you're happy with the people that are there. They're happy with you and everything is pretty much cohesive in that, in that aspect. But we do have the moon coming in there that, that is saying that there may be some things that you don't see right now and you may have to tweak your, um, your, your plan or your strategy uh, just a little bit down the road because there may be things that pop up that kind of throw a little monkey wrench in the, in, in things, but it's not going to be anything too major. Uh, and when I look at this card, I always think of um, the night. I think of um, the situations that, that this can bring up. It's like the, the night is always darkest before the dawn and that light, that, that sun is coming, that light will be shine over every situation. So whatever this struggle is, it's going to be minor and it's not gonna be something that's long lasting. It's, you know, the, it, the sun will shine and it will come up very quickly. Uh, so things will be, be uh, cleared up quick, even if there is a monkey wrench or two thrown in there. It, it's not going to be a problem that can't be solved quickly with some strategic thinking. Okay, we have the five of swords on that high priestess, which is saying, you know, really um, backing up this uh, chariot card over here, which is saying there are going to be some triumphs, but there are going to be some people that may not be too happy about the whole situation. Um, and again, I go back to, it, it kind of feels to me like the kids are going to balk at the situation because they don't get that much screen time. They don't get to uh, play their games. They have to really restructure 
how they're doing things. And it, it's just, it's going to be that little bit of a struggle, but once everybody gets used to the new, um, the new day-to-day -day, um, habits and um, organization and the way things are done, things will turn out for the best for everybody. Everybody is a winner in this situation. It's just going to take um, that little bit of getting used to. And that is also backed up by this five of wands over here. Uh, there may be a few temper tantrums thrown, um, fiery um, mood swings because of um, Mars energy is also rolling in here in astrology speaking. Uh, so that Mars energy is high today. So there may be tempers flared over the new, uh, the new structure, the new uh, budget, what have you. Uh, but it's not, again, it's not going to be anything too serious. And we have, of course, that um, this Queen of Chalices card over here, and we have the Knight of Chalices on top of that, which is stating that, you know, the people that are around you, again, are they going to stay there? You've, you've already done the, the thinking about the people in your life, and there, there's, no, there's no reason to really um, be too worried about everybody's tempers and the disappointments that some may have today. Uh, it's going to be something that works itself out. And you can always, you know, what this card is saying is you can always dream about the future, but really concentrate on what's going on today. Don't get too carried away with um, daydreams or thinking about what may come up. You know, that, that strategy of what that you're working on right now is spot on. So go ahead and move forward with that. and do it in a, you know, in a manner where they're going to understand it's not going to hurt their feelings too much. Um, and it's really going to get them to actually see the benefit of unplugging and, and, and getting outside and being with the family and working on a common family goal, uh, which will benefit the entire family. And then of course, on top of that eight of chalices reverse, we have that ace of wands. Now that Ace of Wands is really saying that maybe throughout all of this, even though there's going to be some bumps in the roads, maybe a few temper tantrums thrown about removing the Xbox or um, not getting on the computer and playing games. Uh, but in the end, you know, when they see the benefits of what you're trying to do, they're really going to... Um, see something that they can be really passionate about and have fun with and something that may actually be a long-term hobby or even a profession down the road. Uh, so that is a really good card to come out in here that shows, you know, the start of something new that is really beneficial, happy, um, and, and passionate. They're, they're going to be very satisfied with it. And like I said before, you know, with that moon card coming out here, when that sun does come up, you know, we have the king of chalices on top of that, which is stating that it's going to be fun. Um, and with that ace there, and then the king of chalices coming out right after that, it is really suggesting that whatever this is, uh, it feels like family time and it feels like a fun time. You know, it feels like doing something with their hands, creativity. Um, really sparking that creativity within those that surround uh, mainly your family. This really feels like a family spread today. There's a lot of teaching going on. There's a lot of children in these cards here. So this has a lot to do with surrounding the family unit.
okay, this this seven of water card that comes out on that um, high priestess and that five of swords in this is telling me that, you know, when you listen to your your intuition and you make that plan and you get everybody on board after, you know, everybody has their say, you get everybody on board, there's going to be a lot of opportunities that are opening up because of this new strategy and this new refocus and reorganization when it comes to your family unit here. And then we have the five of air over here, which is saying, you know, remind all of those involved that they have the power within them. They have the answers within them. If they have questions, you know, look within. If they, if they are trying to figure out a situation or figure out this strategy with you, um, it, all of the answers are within. As you can see, you know, this person's hand is glowing and those are coming out of the lines in their hands. You know, that is really reminding us to look within. Um, pay attention to that, that uh, again, that high priestess, that intuition, because that is where all of this energy is coming from. And it is strategic energy. It is planning energy. It is that, you know, really nailing down what it is, what the purpose is, what the end goals are, uh, short-term, long-term goals, and really think about what is the best thing for everybody in the family unit or in the career unit, whichever this situation has to deal with, with, with you today. And then we have the seven of fire over here coming in. And this energy is pretty much nailing stuff down. You know, we know when things are due. We know when um, when we have to, you know, basically, you know, pay the bills or do specific tasks, but sometimes things come in that are unexpected and that is okay. You know, you'll be able to solve these problems even if um, they seem major at the time. Um, they will be able to be worked out. You just have to make sure that you are falling back on what you know, fall back on what it is that really drives you. And this seven of fire card, um, if any issues do arise, they're not going to be anything that is too severe and will be able to be worked out. And then the next card we have on on this is the omens card, which is saying that whatever happens here, you know, it will, it, it will take, you know, a little bit to figure out and it may be a little bit painful, maybe, um, hurt feelings or, you know, maybe spending a few extra dollars that you weren't expecting to spend. But in the long run, this is really telling you that knowledge, a lot of times, um, the, in order to really truly learn a lesson, there has to be a little bit of pain. And especially when we're talking about children uh, and switching up their routines and, and doing something new and finding you know, what really inspires them and, and drives them, um, it can be a little painful, but in the long run, the knowledge that they gain from that is going to be lifelong knowledge and is going to be well worth a little bit of discomfort um, and aggravation at this new switch in their lives. And then we have, moving on, we have Litha here. And this is, you know, letting things um, culminate. Let them, let the kids think about it. Let them, you know, have their say. Because once they are allowed to really think things through, they're going to see the benefits. They're going to see what can be. They're going to see, um, some successes and and get that feeling of you know that that feeling of wonder coming back at seeing things progress and it's going to be um, a positive thing in the long run as you can see you know they're going to see that they do have a harvest coming they do have things coming back to them and rewards coming to them for um, getting off that computer for unplugging um, and learning new things and doing new things that are fun. And then we have the Yule coming in here, which is 
um, in a typical deck would be the death card. And this is saying, you know, the, the, is the end of the old ways and time for the new ways to take over because those new ways are, you know, giving giving life and giving in giving birth to that new strategy surrounding their life that will be um, that change that they've really been needing and that that those fresh new ideas, those fresh new things to do and and to be passionate about and have fun with are really going to be worth that little bit of discomfort in the beginning. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's reading. Before you go, please make sure to like this like and share this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ting that notification bell and I will see you tomorrow.